What's up guys, welcome to the Colmar Project, and on this episode, we're tackling a problem that I have. An awesome problem, but still a problem. I got too many clamps. I don't think you can have too many clamps. What's too many clamps? 10? 20? 50? I don't know how many I have, and they're all different, but let me show you, and then we can figure it out. Gonna build ourselves a clamp rack. Clamp rack, for sure. All right, let's check this out. That's a bit too many clamps. I got more clamps here. And I got this whole thing full of clamps. So we gotta figure out some sort of a clamp rack that's gonna go onto this wall, I think. But I do have a bigger problem. They're all different. I pick up clamps at garage sales, at stores, at flea markets, things like that, and they're all different, so. Let's figure something out that's gonna work for everything, and then we'll hang them. Before I start making anything, I gotta figure out how much room I have on this wall. 38 by 52. Dog. Thor, stop it. Did I take your toy? No way, Jose. I think he wants his toy back. There you go. Woo, that's a lot of clamps. Let's find out how many we have. That's 73 clamps. Holy cow. I think I might have enough for now. We'll see. Let's check them out. So I have these Rockler clamps, pinch clamps, F-styles, some parallel clamps, more F-style clamps right here, quick clamps, Craig clamps, corner clamps, Jorgies, pipe clamps, and then some really cool old clamps that I really like. So the big problem I'm gonna have is try to figure out how to get all of these clamps, which are all different, into one rack. No idea how. But that's never stopped me before, and we're gonna figure this one out too. So stick around. It's gonna be good. Half inch backing. I decided to make it 36 by 65. It's gonna fit right onto that wall and should leave me about an inch off the corner. We'll see what happens. Actually, I got some room on the wall to make it a little bit bigger. So, I'm just gonna use this whole sheet lengthwise. Which is 67 and a quarter, and then I'm still gonna rip this thing to 36 inches. It's gonna be kind of big. Oh well. Now that I got my piece cut out for the backing, let's lay the clamps down and see what kind of configuration we can come up with. Let's do it. Bear with me. I'm not the smartest guy in the world. But we'll do this. Oh yeah, we're not giving up. I think I figured it out. So I guess the only thing that's left is to cut these bad boys out, some other partitions, and get this thing hung on the wall. Cue the music.
think I have everything cut now. I don't know. We'll see. But the theory. The theory. Stay. Is to have something like this. At least that's the theory. We'll see how it turns out. For everything else, just that. That should do it. I always wing it, so we'll see. Thor, move. God, he's always in my way. Should I round these over first? Nah. No. Whatever you want, the answer is no. This is crude construction, don't judge me. But it's gonna look cool. I hope. We got ourselves a top. Now we're gonna put some clamps in it and see how it looks with with a minute. Okay. So that's the layout. Now to figure everything else out in here. I did take a picture of it before, so I should know. See? I got it. Technology. I got the layout, so. So what I'm doing on the back side is just marking exactly what I have on the front. That way I know where to put the nails. I could have done dados and suckies and dados, but for a shop, way too much work. Plus I'm lazy. So I figured something out. If I put some temporary spacers in here, just tack them in. I don't have to measure for two of them. You just have to measure for one off of the edge. Does that make sense? You're probably wondering why I'm underneath this thing. Well, it's because I'm trying to get one screw into the clamp extension thingies. Clamp wings? Yeah, I'm gonna call them clamp wings. It just makes me feel better there's a screw in there. I'm almost there. I have like five more to do. Not so bad. I think that's it. Figure something else out. Check this out. So, let's try and figure out room for these to put somewhere else. Why can't I? Why can't I do that? Yeah. That's going to work. And now it's time to wrap it up, put a border around it. Yeah, give it some strength. And that's going to keep it from wobbling and doing all these crazy things that I don't want it to do. And hang it on the wall with French cleats, I think. I don't know yet. Because that's how I work. I have no idea what I'm doing until I actually do it. 
Does that make any sense? I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't make sense to me. That, my friends, is it. Ha! All that work for a clamp rack. It looks kind of cool though, right? We'll see if it holds up. I don't know. I got the weight to it. Let's test it. We're just gonna test it for now. Oh, this thing is gonna be so big. Probably should have measured it out a little bit better. But I have such long clamps. This thing's still gonna work perfect. I don't care how big it is. Even though I don't live in Texas, bigger is better. Okay, here goes nothing. Or something. I think it's gonna be something. That looks pretty darn good to me. Put it in permanently. Never going anywhere. Ever. <laughs> One final touch. A special touch. Hold on a second. That's it. Let's put some clamps in. So there you go guys, my brand new clamp rack. Finally, I got a place to put all these clamps and they're not in a way in the shop. So I'm slowly getting through the shop and building stuff. So if you like to see videos like this, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know you like it. And as always, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for joining me on my experience. I will see you guys next time.